Years of cuts to Florida's public health funding have left the state especially unprepared to respond to the coronavirus pandemic. That is according to a new Kaiser Health News Associated Press investigation. Our Samantha Jo Roth is taking a closer look at this report. Researchers tell me a lack of resources, mixed messages, and staffing has left the state of Florida unable to adequately respond to the worst pandemic in a century. In the third largest state in the country, Florida cut spending in local health departments by nearly 27% in 2019. They were flat-footed before this all hit. It's part of a larger trend Laura Unger with Kaiser Health News uncovered in a new investigation. Over the last 10 years, local health departments spent 41% less per resident. I mean, everyone told us more people, more money equals a better response. While departments nationwide experienced cuts in spending, Florida saw significantly more, which researchers found contributed to the state's ability to manage the outbreak. So that's state funding, so I wasn't there for a long period of time. I mean, I left the state legislature in 2008. There were budget cuts that began with the Great Recession of 07, 08, and it appears that some of those were never restored to local health agencies. The report found the most significant drop in funding came under Governor, now Senator Rick Scott. In a statement, his office tells us the majority of positions eliminated were vacancies that were dormant and had no impact on the department's ability to serve the public. The report found mixed messages from public officials also hampered the state's efforts to respond. People maybe in one county uh, have a mask mandate, the next county over, they do not. What is the message that you're getting about a mask? Uh, it's a mixed message. Senator Marco Rubio says the report sends a message about how states should allocate their resources moving forward. I think one of the things that we'll have to re-examine as a country is a reinvestment in our public health systems across the country. The next big challenge will be deploying those COVID-19 vaccines once they become available. And that's going to be even more difficult with a lack of public health infrastructure. In Washington, Samantha Jo Roth, Spectrum News.